The Temple of God in Jerusalem is being rebuilt. In chapter 6 of Ezra, the on-again, off-again construction is on again, and it's moving forward with great success and energy. As we pick up the story, King Darius is searching the Babylonian archives to clarify once and for all what King Cyrus decreed concerning the Temple of God. And here's a quick summary of what he found. The temple was to be rebuilt on the original foundations. All expenses were to be paid by the royal treasury, and the gold and silver cups taken by King Nebuchadnezzar were to be returned and put back where they belonged. It's amazing news for the people of God. So King Darius sent a message to his officials in the area around Jerusalem that said, stay away from there. Let the work continue on the temple without interruption. But there's more. The words of King Darius are recorded beginning in verse 8. Moreover, I hereby decree that you are to help those elders of the Hebrews as they rebuild this temple of God. Pay the full construction costs so the work will not be interrupted. Give the priest in Jerusalem whatever is needed to offer acceptable sacrifices to the God of heaven. The officials complied at once. The temple was completed and dedicated with great joy by the people of Israel. For you and I today, Ezra chapter 6 is a story of God's faithfulness in spite of our failings. In 2 Kings 24, we see Judah, Israel, and Egypt fall to the king of Babylon. The Lord banished his people from his presence because of their many sins. They were exiled into Babylonian servitude. But here, the Lord shows favor to his people as they come back to their homeland to rebuild his temple. God hates our sins. But he loves you and I so much that he's always willing to extend his grace and forgiveness. So maybe you're struggling today with the guilt of sin. You feel separated from the Lord. Let me encourage you. Take advantage of his grace and forgiveness. It's available right now. As the old hymn says, he's waiting, he's watching, come home.